Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy SJBZ here with another video today. I just wanted to talk about like this meteoric rise I'm on right now. I'll put the statistics right here. Whoa, crazy numbers, right? For a first video, I'm so grateful, you guys. Thank you so much. I never expected someone to enjoy my content this much ever, so I'm greatly appreciative of that. Without further ado, I do want to get into this video. Actually, some more ado. I'm using this video as an exercise to not get in my head and, you know, plan strategically going forward, and also maybe to help some of you uh, smaller YouTubers out, you know. Today, I'm going to be looking up how to become a successful YouTuber, okay? successful all right you guys i found this link on WikiHow by the author of timothy linetsky and i've actually heard him i think he does music or something on youtube so he might know what he's talking about guys so listen up okay not me because i know what i'm doing but you guys listen up okay okay so let's start with the prologue it says things you should know to earn money on youtube you will first need to verify your account reach a lifetime video of 10,000. I'm reading this for you. Be sure to clean up your channel so that all of your video revolve around a consistent brand theme or content area. I already broke the rules here because I made it very clear in both my description and my first video that whatever happens happens and I do what I want. The ideal video length for a successful YouTube channel is anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. That's actually good to know. Considering capturing your audio and video using a real camera as opposed to a smartphone. I'm currently recording on my iPhone, but it looks pretty good, I think. Without further ado, we hit part one, cleaning up your channel. I like this. A lot of hundreds. Determine your definition of success. So it says be being ex being successful on YouTube can range from gathering a certain number of subscribers to making money. Before you set out to optimize your YouTube channel for success, you should know exactly what you need to accomplish in order to meet that goal. I know nothing. This article will tell us that. Subscriber success is usually a matter of promoting your videos as aggressively as possible. That's why I keep telling you to like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you can. Get some SJBZ in your household. Okay. It will take time, but you usually build up your subscriber base in this way. Monetary success is a bit trickier on YouTube. You'll need to reach a lifetime video. Blah, blah, blah. We already read that. Keep in mind that success on YouTube is still largely contingent on luck. <laughs> Some people get lucky. Some people are born like this. You can do everything correctly and still not gain subscribers or mass channel views due to YouTube's algorithm. Oh, this is cute. Figure out your content area and audience. I have nothing for you here, but I'll read this for you guys, okay? If you don't already know what genre your videos belong to or who they're for, you'll have a hard time sticking to a specific content area. But what if I'm I'm done talking about how different I am and how unique I am. Number three, create a channel if you haven't done so. Okay, check. We're good. Number four, remove dissonant videos from your channel. Exactly why I got rid of my old music on Spotify, Apple Music, and all that stuff. Number five, link directly to your subscription box. Anytime you paste your channel's web address somewhere, you can add a tag at the end of the address to link directly to the subscribe button. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, might try that. Cool. Part two, creating video. Important. Number one, stick to making videos which align that they keep bringing up like make sure you're doing the same stuff over and over again number three try to lengthen your videos while you shouldn't add filler for filler's sake if you have an exceptionally short video you may want to increase the length by one or two minutes when possible again i know all this already this is ancient history to me all you smaller youtubers out there take notes because i know you want to be in the big leagues right now so i get it number four determine when users stop watching never right Never. Knowing when users are losing interest in your videos can help you change your video layout. Go to Creator Studio Analytics, Average View Duration, blah, 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 blah. Very cool. Part three, optimizing video uploads. Use high quality equipment, iPhone 13 Pro Max. That's all I got for you. When recording anything other than on-screen content like video games, using high quality camera and audio equipment can be the difference between YouTube success and average videos. 1080p, lighting, directional microphone. I got all of that, we're good. Cameras are really expensive. I mean, not that that's a problem for me being, you know, big, bad YouTube star. I'm talking about for you guys, stay humble. Number two, upload at the right time. You can ensure that people are actively viewing and responding to your content by uploading during the following times. Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Thursday through Friday, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday through Sunday between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Number three, upload consistently. And this is where... 
the wheels fall off again because also in my description and my last video, I made a very big stink about, I don't know when I'm posting, if I'm ever posting, we'll find out when we get there. And this is the part I'm afraid of. Number four, use keywords in your title. Clickbait is often frowned upon, but generic titles don't stick out enough to draw the eye. Knowing what your video is about and generating a title based on appropriate keywords will help search engines and viewers alike find your videos. Yeah, I'm not really good with titles and the SEO stuff. Don't neglect the thumbnail. I didn't. I watched like one video on how to do it on Photoshop. Done. The most successful YouTube creators use distinct thumbnails for their videos. Your thumbnail should include a clear visual preview of the video's content, a word or two, and another eye-catching detail. Number six, fill out the description box. The description box is one of the most important parts of your video as it allows you to add context, accessibility features, and more to your video. Your description box should have most, if not all, of the following. Description of the video, message to the viewers, little catchphrase or thank you, timestamps. That's actually, okay, I like that one. Moving on to part four. I don't know how many parts there are. This seems long though. Community interaction. Respond to comments on your own videos. I do that all two of you who commented. Mwah. Love you so much. Once you start gaining comments on your videos, you can interact with a few people per video by replying to their comments, engaging in conversation and or liking. Number two, implement viewer suggestions. While you don't have to take every suggestion that comes your way, making popular tweaks to your content will both show viewers that you read their comments and demonstrate that you value their opinions, which I do. And number three, comment on people's videos. And many of the support you'll find comes from others just like you. Small YouTubers, you guys stick together. I'll be commenting on Markiplier's videos or Ninja or uh, um, I mean, you need each other, okay? So keep liking and comment. And feel free to comment on mine too. I'm not above that. So of course, keep your comments polite, sincere, and non-spammy. Number four, link social media to your channel. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram allow people to see a non-YouTube side of you. Yeah, I might not do that. Definitely not my Facebook. I might shut down my Facebook just because of this. Number five, add a link to a Patreon. I don't have Patreon, don't intend on getting Patreon, but if you guys are interested, it's this, another subscriber platform. It allows you to reward subscribers based on how much they donate per month. So like there's shows I've seen, like the Basement Yard podcast where they'll have different like tiers of their Patreon and you get stuff accordingly as a reward. Number six, respond positively to the work of others. No one likes the negativity. Respond to popular videos with genuine praise. Create exciting content that relates to other videos. Giving positive construction feedback when asked. Avoiding asking for favors, subscribers, or channel views. And number seven, and what appears to be the conclusion, be respectful, guys. I know I'm putting on this really annoying, cocky character right now about being a big shot when I had maybe 30 views at the time of recording this. At the end of the day, I am just, of course, kidding around. So please be nice to me and please like and subscribe and comment on my videos because it would make my day. So if you could just do that, that'd be really nice. But yeah, that's the end of the video today. Thank you guys oh so, so much for all the love, all 20 something of you. Most of you are my friends and family, but that's awesome either way. Share my page around. Everyone needs a little bit more of me, or at least that's what I think. And I know that's what you think. I love you. Bye.